Hey, Donald Miller here. So, um, we work on plaster homes a lot, and when you're cutting a plaster wall, you have to cut it a, a correct way. If you cut a plaster wall like you're cutting drywall with a drywall saw or um, with a sawzall, um, you can damage the wall, and not just in that one little area, it, it goes all the way down the wall. So during this rewire, um, we opened up a speaker box, well, a speaker control box, where it was an old work single gang box. And to the right of it, the wall was really, like we call it breathing. It's when the wall separates from, the lath separates from the key in. So the outside plaster is no longer being held to the lath. So the wall breathes, it moves. And this one's actually pretty bad. And the, the, the worst of the damage is right where they installed the speaker volume setting, all right? And maybe over time, because it was damaged, it got worse and worse and worse. But now I'm gonna show you how bad this is. The blue tape indicates the damaged area. Now here's the speaker box, the old style speaker system. Okay, and this is the damaged portion of the wall. See the little bow there right next to it? And when they put this in, they blew the lath out and you can actually see some of the fracturing. And here, see, it went down here too. So when they cut this, it went like this and smacked back and forth. And they, they most likely used a sawzall because the damage is extensive, but you're not gonna be able to see it but it's bad. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to contain the fracturing, pull the bow out, inspect the lath. If we can keep the lath and just replaster, we'll keep the lath and replaster. But when we remove our homes, like oftentimes we're removing boxes, we have to cut holes. None of our holes make any bowing. Our holes are always tight because we use the correct tools. So if you want to look at some of the holes that we have to make. All right, now one of them bowed the ceiling out because they were all cut with the correct tool. But when you use the correct tool, it takes time, okay? And if you have, and I don't want to always blame the low bidder, but there's certain guys that'll come into your home and try to rewire knob and tube and they're gonna use practices that are not decent or quality driven for an older home. And if you're not around, um, they're gonna patch it every which way possible before you see it. So you just have to not just watch the price of your rewires, but you have to watch what are they doing? Are they guaranteeing the plaster's integrity? Are they even talking about the plaster? Are they talking about the holes? Because that's important. They should, they should be talking, that, that's a major portion of their rewire. So they should be explaining their process. What are they gonna do to keep the quality of the plaster in your home? So thanks for watching. I wanted to show you that. And when I have it open, I might make another video. God bless. Take care.